So in this experiment, what I want to do is show you that the North Pole has exactly the same reach as the South Pole um, when looking at one of these small magnets that you can see here. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're going to test the North Pole. And the way I do this is I take my ruler and I move it forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So the magnet is pulling it back. It is not, if I let go, it goes to the magnet. Okay, so I place the magnet in the same spot. And as you can see, the magnet is pulling the small magnet. This is a tiny neodymium sphere magnet that I've been using in my other experiments. And so it I do is I go back and forth, forward and backward, forward, towards me, away from me, towards me, away from me, towards me, away from me, until, until the magnet no longer is attracted to the, um, the small magnet is no longer attracted to the big magnet. If I touch it, it's going to go. So I do this a bunch of times just to get a good, let me get my pencil handy here because I want to mark the spot. Okay, so here we go. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I do it slowly because I want to catch the exact location. There it is. That looks like the exact location where it no longer is attracted to the magnet. So I am going to draw just a light line on either side and there you go. If I just touch this a tiny bit, I don't even have to, I just wiggled this a bit and it was attracted to the magnet. So I just want to confirm that point. Oh, really wants to fly to that magnet. Okay, I'm going to do it again and confirm. I'm going to make sure I put this in the same spot. I line it up with the front of this tape. Okay. So right at that line, maybe just a tiny bit in front of the line, but right at that line, exactly, is where um, it does not want to fly to the magnet anymore. And if I just touch it a tiny bit, it's going to go. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the magnet around. Now we have the south pole. I'm putting it in exactly the same location that I had it for the north pole. And I'm going to do the same thing. Forward and back, away from me, towards me, away from me, towards me, away from me, towards me. Okay. And when I get to my line, that is the exact same spot that it is no longer attracted. I mean, it's attracted to the magnet, but the forces of gravity and the, um, the tiny bit of friction on the paper, all the forces balance out and it can stay there. And if I just touch it a little bit, it's going to go towards the magnet. So let's do it again. North, south, forward, back. Ooh, it stays there. Oh, it didn't want to stay there. It almost wanted to stay there. I think there was there's a little hole in the paper there or something. But... As you can see, it's still attracted to the magnet until I get to my line, and it's still, but I can let go. So I can do this repeatedly um, to demonstrate that the reach of the magnet for both the North Pole and the South Pole appear to be exactly the same not even a millimeter difference. So I can drop it there. It's very close to the edge there. 
very close to the edge there. Obviously back there it stays, okay, and right here, it's, uh, I, I can keep, I can make it stay there. Right on the same line that I had. Ooh, it see it, I just touch it and it goes. So let's go back to the North Pole to verify that that is the spot. Okay, I can bring it to there and let go and it stays. So there is, now if I wiggle this, it'll probably induce the magnet to go. And so um, there is no difference between the reach of the North Pole and the reach of the South Pole um, according to this experiment.